Hey folks, so I have quite a few of these Torquedo batteries that when I'm out on the road, I need to recharge so I can keep that thing running. Um, and I'm going to be doing more of this boondocking where I won't have a power source. So what I'm thinking I want to do is to take this massive uh, 200 amp hour Dakota lithium battery and use that to charge these. To do that, I'm going to utilize, instead of an inverter, which my understanding is the inverters are a little bit less efficient. There's, there's some power loss in that transfer, but there's less power loss when you're able to use this sort of 12 volt power. This is a Torquedo charging cable, cigarette lighter type style. What I want to do is to get a box for this and to fit it with the female um, receptacle that these male receptacles that can plug in there and recharge these. I want to build a box just for remotely charging up my Torquedo batteries using this Dakota Lithium. You got it. Do you plug it into a 220? Yeah. Or is it a 115? I, just, I charge it before I, I charge the Dakota Lithium before I leave home. Yeah. And then it's just a power source. Yeah, that's your mobile <clears throat> power source. Yeah. Right. And I can, I don't know, am I going to be able to get, so they're, they're 915 watt hour batteries. That says it's 2400 or 2500 watt hours. If hmm. I get to top off, you know, we get three recharges out of it, I'll be pretty happy. Yeah. Might get yeah. more. We'll see. Yeah. This is my okay. dad. He's helped me make oh. sure I don't blow anything up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Retired I know I electrical was on engineer. Camera. Hello. That, that's how I roll. <laughs> but we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go find the female receptacle to those Torquedo cigarette lighter 12 volts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And we're gonna find a box for the the big Dakota lithium to one. Put it in. Yep. Okay. Where do you think we go for that stuff? No, we'll try local suppliers like do you think you think it'd be in the electrical section of like a home depot or Lowe's? maybe yeah all right we'll look there maybe there's a battery supply place here in uh okay. in westminster might check there we'll find it along with the Let's box go see if we're gonna fly a drone today okay dad's interested in the drones we have a drone here on the farm <clears throat> that does some fertilization and some other things. My wife has her drone license to be able to do this the right way. And I think they're flying today. Yeah, we'll drive down there and look. in Westminster we're gonna take that in see if they got the receptacle for that so they didn't just have the just Sorry. exactly what I needed but we this is a, the female plug for the 12 volt and I got two of these and we're gonna cut this up now we're here at Home Depot and uh, we're gonna get some supplies to connect them to the, the battery the battery Right. All right. All right. I think we got enough length there that I didn't buy any wire. We'll just connect to these. Connect directly to battery terminals. Does that make sense? Sounds good. Okay. You have a crimp tool at home? I do. Okay, yep. we're set then. Cool. All right, we've been driving around. Uh, we've checked it. what he calls horrible freight horrible freight horrible freight he doesn't like 
Harbor Freight. Just low quality tools. Right. Yeah. All right. Looking for a a case. I know I've bought the Apache cases before for um, <clears throat> for the Dakota Lithium boxes that I need waterproof that go in, you know, inside the kayak. Uh, I need something bigger. It's what what I say, 22, 10, and 10. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big dimensions. So we've not found that at Horrible Freight. And uh, we're going to look here at Lowe's. You you suggested what? The Dicks for the camping gear. Okay. Camping <clears throat> containers. Or the mm -hmm. container store. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Hmm. See what we can find. All right, got a box that, uh, you know, I don't think it's gonna withstand submersion, but I think it'll keep things dry in the bed of the truck here. We'll go ahead and uh, take it home and <clears throat> get this wired up. All right, we did find an appropriate box. It's, uh, it's really just gonna be something that can contain it and keep the rain off of it. Uh, this one will fit in there and uh, we're gonna basically sacrifice this accessory which is I think is supposed to plug into a different um, jump kit that, that gives you that uh, give you that female cigarette lighter type 12 volt thing that will correspond to this this male one which on the other end connects and charges the torpedo battery. So I just hope, yeah, we got enough length there. So we're getting, we don't need this plug. So we're just gonna cut that. Pull these apart. And these aren't real thick wires. So, I don't, I don't know how limited we're going to be in terms of, I mean, it, these things don't charge very fast anyways. It's a very slow sort of thing. Um, looks like we got a fuse in there. Okay. And then, uh, yep, it's pretty basic, but it'll work. Like that. That goes to the motor. The boat. Oh yeah. Drives the boat. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna strip a little more off. So that hole is a lot bigger than what we need here. So I've just I'm gonna double it over and hope for the best. Hope it grabs it. Is that stranded wire that you're dealing with? Yeah, it's stranded. Okay, so you're going to double it? Yeah. Fold it over. That's definitely what I would use solder on, but let's hope it holds. Well, the plastic thing came off. <clears throat> but the metal parts are on. I'm going to slide that back on. Alright, let's take these off. We got Get our black wire there. I'm gonna get a little bit of this dielectric grease here. There. Scooch that around. Black on black. I'm 
Now, I'll probably <clears throat> put the second one on there after I determine that all of this is working the way we want it to. All right, this is hooked up. We'll put this guy in there. And if this connects in there and I get a red light, and if this is a full battery, so is this. Uh, it'll still give me a red light there, letting me know that, yep, it's, uh, power can get to it. And yes, I have a red light. So this system will work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it because uh, I'll want to be able to charge two batteries at the same time. I'll go ahead and set up the second one of these. Yep, we got red. So, okay. yeah, we're good on both. Do you think it matters whether I leave them plugged in or not? No. No? I don't think it matters. Okay. It's done except for putting it in the box. Yeah, I'll put it in the box with the charger. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got a way to do it. I got a way to recharge just these that's a considerable amount of power that i need um i've actually ordered the dakota lithium 2400 which has the usb the regular 110 plugs and um yeah I, you know that's going to help me with a lot of other things including the dakota lithium battery that goes in to power the depth finder recharging my laptop for the mobile um video editing studio recharging all the gopro batteries there's a lot and that unit will connect to these same two terminals um no this one's gonna be separate so separate yeah separate it's battery. its own battery okay. it's actually the the easiest way to do all of this all right. that that hits multiple different receptacles and it's the easier way to do it than so what this, i did this unit is just the torpedo only torpedo motor battery that's it Okay. Yep. Good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping, Dad. All right. See you.